place your palms down onto the mat. Go ahead and bend one knee, bend the other knee. Hang your head while you're doing this. Separate your ears from your shoulders. And then go ahead and roll up slowly. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do some stand up drills to get a heartbeat going. Let me get my timer ready here. Um, okay, so the first one is we're gonna squat low with our elbows right close to our body and we're elbows inside and you stay in this um position and you can move whatever direction you can go sideways boom boom you could pivot like right if you have been saying in uh, kickboxing you could pivot boom pivot but always imagining your partner in front of you so you can go boom boom you can go back forward right just move around with your feet for one minute let's do that stay in low squat Ooh, that's loud. sideways boom, forward backward Good job. Go ahead and breathe. Hold on. All right, the next one is uh, you're going to continue to move, right? And I will call out in the movement to sprawl. And you could do Try to incorporate these type of sprawl, right? The, the, um, the first one is two hands on the mat and just sprawl out and your hips. The next one, another version is sprawling out and putting one, your left side. The other, your right side, right? So let's move around like the first drill and I'm gonna call out sprawl in between. Okay, so stay low. Move around, sideways, forward, boom, sprawl. Up. Sprawl. 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 The next one, change the timer a little bit. It's gonna be a little longer. So next one is the first one, the second one, and you're gonna do uh, 
um, knee slide, right? You're gonna come in knee slide, boom, and then you're gonna come back up. So the combination is you're gonna do a sprawl, come, stand up, knee slide, and then go back, boom, 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 boom. Sprawl, come up, knee slide, head up, right? And then come back up, all right? When I say combo, that's what I mean. You're gonna sprawl, and then add the knee slide, okay? Hold on, let me change this. Okay. Go. So boom, low, boom, boom. Sprawl, I mean combination, boom. Foundation. Combo. 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 All right, walk around, breathe. down on the ground. Um, go ahead and put your feet together. Again, bring your inhale, bring your hands together on top. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Go ahead and walk your hands out into a plank here. Lining your wrist, your elbow, and your shoulders, and you're looking forward. Abs tucked, and go ahead and Inhale and then exhale, descent very slowly with your elbows inside. Right, flatten your toes. Go ahead and push off the ground, bring your chest up, sit up, extend your arms here. But pulling back, arms walking forward. Okay, come up. From here, I'm gonna put my left hand close to my hips. I'm gonna um, lift my hip and reach diagonally to the side. My eyes are following that thumb and go past the thumb. Follow the thumb. Once you can't reach any farther, go ahead and look past the thumb. Hips really up high. Come back a couple times. Now come back, let's walk our hands out. We're gonna come to our belly. 
Okay, so from here, let's do this uh, interesting uh, push-ups, right? I'm gonna kickstand my toes. And look, I'm gonna um, start with my left hand where you, my normal push-up, I'm gonna explain. I have my knees down while I'm explaining, right? My normal push-up, my hands, let me adjust this. So, normal push-ups, my hands are pointing forward. So with this one, we're gonna switch one hand forward, the other hand diagonally to the side, right? And we're gonna come into a plank and we're gonna do push up, boom. And then we're gonna switch to the other hand and then come forward, push up, boom. And then we bring the hand back and then we go lower down and we come down. So that would be one. Let's do five of those, right? So let's start. Hands on the side of your chest here, kickstand your toes, come up into a plank. Let's turn our left hand diagonally to the side, right? And we come down, push up, and then right hand diagonally to the side, push up, and then hands back, and then we're gonna lower ourselves down. That's one. Up, left, push up, right, push up, come down, two, left, push up, right, push up, and then come down, three, left, right, come down, four, last one, left, right, and then come down. Let's sit back. Come up, shake our wrists a little, right? Okay, now we're gonna walk our hands out to our belly again, hands close to our chest, and we're gonna push up into a plank position. And look, I wanna check my plank. My wrist, my elbow, and my shoulder should line up, belly tucked. Right, I'm trying to line up my shoulder, my hips together, so my butt is not sinking uh, too low and too high. So I'm here. So I'm gonna do it on this side so you can see, but I'm gonna lift the leg up as high as I can while I'm in plank. I don't lift and lift my hip up like that, right? I keep my hip in the plank position. I lift my leg as high as I can, and I'm gonna pull it to the side and put it where my hand is and my hand comes up and my chest is up, right? So that is the movement and we're gonna do five per side together. So let's come up into a plank. Let's do a right first, so right. Look up, good, stretch, open your uh, chest. The hand comes down next to the leg and look, I'm, I'm gonna try to do a half circle with the leg. Yeah, and now left. Lift up, hands down, half circle. Let's go right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Come down, sit back. All right, so now we wanna walk our hands up, come to our belly, and hands to our chest. Wanna come up, do the same thing, right? Wanna go boom, but now, I come all the way up my, right? I'm, I'm gonna come all the way up and look. Let me do it on this side, I don't know. Maybe on this side. Yeah, from here, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the back leg and sit like this, right? Come and sit here, okay? And then I'm gonna put my hand down and I'm gonna bring it back and back down. So in full mode, this is what it looks like. 
I'm gonna sit, go back, down. Yeah? Okay, let's do five per side on your own. You could do it on your own. Let's go. Let's come and sit, stay the last one. You're gonna stay in this position. Okay, you're gonna stay in that position. You don't really want your leg really under here like typically we do, right? You kinda of wanna have it open because you're gonna post that same hand as the bent leg here. From here, look, I'm gonna, um, from here I'm gonna slide. So I'm gonna slide my hips, right? I'm gonna go oh, slide my hip, open my hip, and look, the back leg now um, is gonna pivot. I'm gonna turn onto the other side, look. And I'm kinda on this toe too, so I'm gonna boom, slide, right? And I'm gonna turn, boom, to, the, to here. You're gonna see my back, right? So again, I'm here. I don't want my legs to be like intersecting like this. I want it out like this so that I can slide. And notice my hand is kind of pointing out in this direction, right? My fingers are pointing out because, let's see, if I do that, look, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna slide. And when I go boom like this, it turns in the right position that I need to come stand up. So the back leg comes boom. And then I'm gonna retract, boom, and I'm gonna come into that slow squat position, right? Does everybody have that? Right? So now that we, you're down at the low squat, squat position, um, why don't you just keep, right now, because we're learning the move, keep whatever leg that you have bent here will come and sit down. So, are, well, you're sitting here, right, where your legs are separated, fingers, fingers pointing outward, not to the side or back, but outward, right, here, and you're going to slide your hips, bring the leg, right, and look, this hand's going to come to the mat, boom, come to the mat, and I'm going to come boom here, and so just pretend that you could see me on the other side, I'm just going to go the same hand, right, the same original hand that was down will be on the mat and you're gonna sit down. So now you're in that position. You replace it, you know, turn here. You're gonna slide. Look, the same leg and arm will pivot to the, now pretend, wait, hold on, I don't know. I lost you guys, hold on a second. Okay, so pretend that you're, I'm here, right? My hand is here, I'm, I'm sliding. Now, look, the same leg and arm will come, kind of line up with this hand here, and then I'm gonna turn my hip pivot here. And then the same hand goes down, foot comes down, and I repeat, right? So do five on one side, and then five on the other side. So we're gonna switch, boom, five on the other side, right, slide. And then the same hand, boom, leg, boom, I come back here, right? And then it's the same the same leg, boom, I come down. And I repeat that. Does, that. does that make sense? Yeah? So do five per side. Go ahead and do that.
Good job. So go ahead and come down. Let's have our feet together. Uh, your hands inside, right? Like a butterfly guard here. Um, and also you wanna, you don't wanna be cramming up, right? You want to kind of like um, have your thigh here a little bit um, spread out and your hip out a little bit, right? You don't wanna be like this. You wanna kind of your hip out and you're leaning in. So that is the position here, boom, right? And from here, right now, let's just tip your knee one side Tip your knee to the other side, back and forth. Do five per side. Boom, 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 boom. And then from here, let's go ahead and go back. Right, and from here, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna um, look at my, my foot. I'm gonna pivot my foot, right? I'm gonna pivot my foot and I am gonna um, go ahead and, um, uh, well, right now, pivot your foot and lift your hip up and then come back down and then go to the other side. Look, I'm pivoting my foot and I use that same leg and my shoulder and I'm gonna come up off of one shoulder, right? My hip is high. Look, this, this knee is almost touching the ground. This knee does not go up, boom, touch the ground. Right, so do that five per side. So it's a bridge, boom up, and then bridge, boom up, and your head is looking back, boom, 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 boom. Okay, so from there, we're gonna start from the back now. We're gonna use our legs, right, to kick ourselves forward, right? Look, I'm gonna go from here. I'm gonna go boom forward and I place one leg, right? One leaning, um, benting on the ground, the other leg post. And from here, I wanna imagine I'm kinda of like uh, grabbing the arm, I'm clamping them under my armpit and I'm going under there um, and grabbing the body here. And I'm gonna fall to one that, that side, boom, right? And look, I'm pivoting, I'm gonna turn the toes in. And from here, I'm gonna really lift my hip up and extending my legs here, boom. And I'm gonna take that other leg and kick to the side. See, at this one point, I'm on, I'm tripoding with my legs and I'm only on this shoulder here. Right, and look at my head, I'm kind of tucking in like I'm looking at my belly. And then I'm gonna go back down, boom. So I'm, I'm gonna come up, boom, like this, pivot the toes, I'm gonna boom and have, so the arm is like this. That's the foot, right? I come up here and then I'm gonna pivot so that my toes are kicking. And then one arm close to me, the other arm reach out like this. Right, and I'm gonna fall to that side, okay? And then I'm gonna push and extend. I'm gonna look at my belly, extend and kick that leg, boom, over. And then I'm gonna come back, and then I'm gonna go back down. So if this is new, I want you to just do one side 10 times, right? So again, I'm gonna be on my back. I'm gonna kick up. I'm gonna come in this position, one, right? One arm close to me here and the other arm is like this, so this is kind of like the position here, and I'm gonna fall to the side, making sure my foot is pivoting, and then I'm gonna push off the bottom leg, I'm gonna push, lift my hip up, kick this leg over, boom, right? As high as you can, if you can touch the ground, great, right? If not, kick it high here, and then you're gonna come back down, go back down, and then repeat, so it looks like this. Right? And then you can switch to the other side. So give that a try. 
Go ahead, five per side. Or just, if you're new at this, again, just do the same side for now. Ooh, nice, Michelle, looking good. Karen. Good job, Sabrina. Kathleen and Talia, everybody's doing good. Okay, so now we're gonna go now from here, kick, boom. I'm gonna go all the way now, okay? So I'm gonna go boom, I'm gonna go boom all the way here, and then I'm gonna pivot this foot in, the foot that, I'm gonna go boom, kick, right? That knee comes down, both knees come down, and I'm gonna pivot, and I sit, right? So let me see. Again, here, look, I'm gonna go sit up. I'm gonna go, and no, notice that now, this hand, right, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna touch the mat with that same leg and same arm on the ground, right? So I'm gonna go boom, lift my hip, hand touches, leg touches, right? And knees, both knees on the ground now, right? And then I'm gonna pivot the leg that was kicking um, in, and then I'm gonna push myself up with this hand, and I sit. And when I sit, this knee is gonna be like this, and I come, bring the knee up, and I'm in this position, okay? So again, a lot of working parts here. So I'm gonna, boom, kick up. I'm gonna come into a butterfly guard, right? And I'm gonna go, boom, kick, bring both hands, this hand, same side leg, hit arm and leg, boom, come to the ground, and then both knees come to the ground, right? And I'm looking in that direction, and look, I'm gonna pivot this so I can sit down, boom, use this hand to push myself, and I'm in the sitting position. But I come up, and I'm gonna be like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, boom, look, look at this fat leg, right? When I come up, I'm gonna be like that, and all I have to do is bring it up. Now I'm in a sitting, a sitting guard, right? So um, give that a try, 10, 10 times, five per side, or just same side if you wanna do that, it's fine. Now Karen, two knees and then pivot the foot in and use the, yeah, yes, yes! Very good, Kathleen. Yeah, perfect, Michelle. Good job, Sabrina. Great, Talia. So make sure when you sit, yeah, great. Um, Karen, I was gonna say four elements of fitness. <laughs> Good job.
Okay, good job. All right, so let's do one last um, drill. Let me get the timer going here. Um, okay, so what you're gonna do is, you're gonna, you're gonna go, um, I don't care, you start with your right or your left, but you're gonna have one leg um, on the ground, the other up like this, right? Um, and you're gonna go one, two, three, Put the foot, switch the foot, and then go one, two, three, and from here, you're gonna do a, um, a triangle um, drill, right? So your hips is up, and then while you're up in the air, you're gonna clamp like one foot under the other leg. So here, and then you're gonna clamp that down, right? And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna raise your hip up, and raise your hip up, head up, Right? You could use your arms to lift, but right? the hip should come off the ground. You're going to do 10 of those and then come back to one, two, three, and then switch one, two, three, and then 10, one, two, and then 10 of those. And then back and repeat that same drill. Okay? Let's get ready here and go. Keep going. Your neck is tired, put your neck down and come back, back up. Abs tight, hips high. Five seconds left. Time. Good job. Go ahead and take a sip, water break, bathroom break, and we'll start kickboxing next.
Okay, so when you're ready, we'll get started again. So let's um, let's uh, let's stretch out our um, quads a little bit. So let's get a spot on the couch or on the wall where you can put your shin along it. It's always good to do. So um, <clears throat> you know, if that previous round, like if any, I always say this, but if any of those, you know, these kinds of ex, you know, these kinds of sit up moves, if they start cramping up in your legs, this is a sign that your quads are too tight and they're not letting your abs work. So you wanna, uh, open quads is really important for kickboxing um, and for everything. So you're gonna line up your foot, stretch the front of your, um, your leg, make sure to tuck your hips under, and then you could throw some hunches once you get that hip tuck. Good, switch the other side. So shins along the couch or the wall, you come up. Um, now you're trying to tuck your pelvis, trying to bring the bottom of your hips, you know, scoop your hips under. Once you're there and you stretch a little bit, you could throw some punches. The reason we're throwing the punches is because when you're punching, you want that same, take a break, you want that same tuck under. So when you're punching, you know, you don't want to be here punching. You want you want your hips tucked under to help, um, help engage your abs and stabilize your, your hips. So, um, so let's, uh, let's do, let's also do a quick um, hamstring stretch too. So this is the uh, forward bend in the wide leg position. So we're just gonna do it three um, levels of depth. So start with your, your um, most shallow, you know, the part, place you wanna start today. Hang out there for a few breaths. And since most of you are experienced with this, another thing to think about while you're doing it, um, first of all, keeping your back straight, aiming your chest, not your head, and also trying to keep your legs engaged, rolled backwards, um, and pressing into the floor. So you're not trying to let your legs just be floppy. If I let my legs be floppy, I can really go forward, but I'm not gonna be able to support my body at that. You know, if I fall into that position, I'll just hurt myself because my muscles aren't um, as strong as my flexibility. So you always wanna be using your muscles when you're, in most cases, when you're pushing your flexibility. All right, so go to your second position, sort of medium. And then um, come to your deepest position for today. All right, come up, shake your legs out. Let's do the foot exercise. The people who are requesting it on Sunday aren't necessarily here, but it's a good one. Let's, um, so you're going to take your foot and you're going to flex your, uh, best way to do it is like this. We'll start it this way. So you're going to flex your toes, point, you know, pull your toes up towards your face. Um, if you're good at this, another thing to think about is trying to separate your toes rather than, you know, letting them clump. So trying to separate your toes and you can use this muscles on the bottom of your foot to help separate your toes. So, um, so I'm gonna point my foot while keeping my toes as flexed as I can. And this whole exercise is all, you're trying to create as much tension as you can. So, you know, if it's easy for you, flex everything harder. So here, and I'm gonna point my toes, and now I'm gonna bring my foot up with my toes still pointed. I'm gonna bring it up as high as I can. So I'm trying to pull with my shin, open up through my calf, and bring my foot high without using my toes to kind of make me feel like I'm going farther than I'm really going. All right, now I'm gonna flex my toes, pull my foot down. All the way. Once I'm as far down as I can get, keep flexing my toes hard, now I can point them, bring my foot up. Flex as hard as you can. Try to like get to the top and push it even a little harder before you switch the toe position. And now flex my toes one more time. So down, when you get to the bottom, try to hold at the deepest position and flex your toes as hard as you can um, towards your face. Like I'm noticing my, my little pinky toes wanna start pointing down, try to pull them up and now point. And now bring your foot up. Keep your toes as pointed as you can. Try to cramp through the bottom of your foot and shake it out. Other side. 
I like to get the same view um, if you're looking at yourself doing it because it looks so much more from the inside. From the outside, it's much less pronounced. You can't see it. It doesn't matter just if you're judging your two sides. Um, so, um, so I'm going to flex my toes. I'm going to pull my foot down to a pointed position, but keeping my toes flexed. I'm going to point my toes. I'm going to keep that point and try to pull my foot upward. Using again my shin muscles, opening up my calf. Once I get up there, flex my toes. And I will come down. So now when you're at the bottom, hold there for a second. Try to point your foot as hard as you can, but flex your toes as hard as you can. And then bring your toes down and come back up. So at the top, I'm trying to flex my foot as I'm trying to lessen, like get this angle as close to 90 or more as I can while keeping my toes still bent. And then flex your toes one more time through. So coming down to the bottom, holding at the bottom with your toes flexed. If there's any toes you're having trouble flexing, you can try to see if you can get them to come up. And then point, come up to the top. And again, trying to flex your foot as hard as you can without losing that point. And then you can bring the toes up. Okay, good. So hopefully that makes your foot feel nice and active. So um, let's do, we're gonna do some things with burpees in between them today. So um, the, uh, so let's come up and do some, um, we're gonna do a few punching drills. I think we're gonna do, yeah, we'll do it this way. So the first one we're gonna do, so this is just working on that pivot. So we're gonna be doing some repeated like one minute rounds of boxing and then we'll get to the, um, the pivoting drills and then kicking. But um, we're gonna pivot the other direction now. Big day. So, um, so uh, the, um, the first one, we're just gonna do one minute. Let's do this one. Let's do, we do this a lot in um, kickboxing at the end, um, at the end of class sometimes. We're gonna do jab, cross, slip, slip. So this is jab, cross, slip, slip. Jab, cross, slip, slip. And my, my feet are doing, and my legs are doing the same thing whether I'm doing the jab, cross, or the slip, slip. So it's jab, cross, slip, slip. Jab, cross, slip, slip. So my, my pivot, you know, we're pivoting my right, my left, my right, my left. Well, you guys are, it'll be your left, your right. But so whether I'm slipping or punching, there's other kinds of slips, but this is the kind of slip where you, you're slipping and you're trying to throw a punch back. You know, you're always trying to throw a punch back, but there's different ways to do it, but you're slipping and trying to be right in the position to punch. So that's why you slip the same way you punch. So whether, and you can see, you know, just as a, as a reminder, just that much takes my head offline. If you can see my, there's my, um, my picture behind me. So if I'm here and I go, the punch has gone past. If I go here, the punch has hopefully gone past. So, um, so, uh, so that's the idea. So we're gonna do one minute of, we're gonna do one minute of, um, of uh, that. So punch, punch, slip, slip. It's all straight punches. So get set. Timer on the one minute. Okay, get set and go. All right, break. Um, now you're gonna do nine burpees. So on your cone count, nine burpees. And when you're done, you can jog in place. Go. Let's 
Okay, so next round, we're gonna do um, the same thing, except the, um, the slips are gonna be changed to uppercuts. So it's gonna be jab, cross, up, up, jab, cross, up, up. So um, don't do what I just did at the end. I kind of went up. Every time you're throwing an uppercut or any punch, other hand is on your face. So, um, and you can, the uppercuts can be a little slower than the jab cross. If it's jab, cross, wait, uh, jab, cross, up, up, jab, cross, up, up. Uppercuts are uh, punches that you don't wanna throw too fast because they need to kind of, they need to like build force from the ground. So you need to bring it down and up. So you don't wanna go jab, cross, up, up. You wanna, you know, not have your body in it. Jab, cross, up, up. So you don't wanna slow it down a lot, but if there's a little slow down, it's okay. So one minute, jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, go. And your feet, keep going, your feet should still be doing basically the same thing, but they can even come through a bit more on the uppercuts. So notice that my waist is turning towards where I'm throwing the uppercut. Sorry. Okay, nine burpees. Okay, so this one's the last of these. It's gonna be um, jab, cross. We're just gonna do jab, cross. Actually, let's do this. I had a couple ideas of picking one. Yeah, let's do the um, slip with a cross, hook, hook, cross. So if you want, you can start it out with the jab, um, but after that, we're gonna be alternating cross, hook, hook, cross with a slip. So it's gonna be jab, cross, slip, cross, hook, slip, hook, cross, slip, cross, hook. So if you, it's more realistic to start with the jab and might be easier for some people to remember, but if that's like a lot of punches and you're like, why is there that one punch that only comes in once? You can just open with a cross. You can open cross, hook, slip, hook, cross, slip, cross, hook, slip. Notice that you're going to be for this slipping, Whatever shoulder you just have forward, I'm now slipping the other way. And then I'm gonna throw the same punch again. So it's gonna be hook, cross, slip, cross, hook, slip, hook, cross, slip, cross, hook. So if I just threw a cross, I'm gonna throw a cross again. If I just threw a slip, I mean, uh, if I just threw a cross, it'll be another cross. If I just throw a hook, it'll be another hook. So um, get set, one minute of those. Then last set of burpees for now. I'm gonna do a couple more at the end. All right, get set. And go. Yeah, you could just start cross hook if you want. And then try to think about the slip and imagine a punch is really coming at you. Visualize the punch and it going right past your head.
10 or nine more burpees. When you're done with your nine burpees, you can grab a sip of water. Yeah, so grab some water, take a break for a second, just a second, 30 seconds. Can you today your birthday, Karen? No, not today. Oh, okay. Yesterday. When is it? Yesterday. Oh my God, I missed it. That's okay, I don't tell anybody usually. <laughs> I'll be later. Usually birthdays are the sign. Yeah, right on. Oh, yeah. yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you. Woo! We still have two more sets. Oh, man. I know, because I'm not 36. No, that would only be, yeah, 36. No, it would be 27. I'm not 27. <laughs> okay, so let's, um, let's do the pivot. So now this is be a little calmer for a minute. So we're going to, we've been doing this pivot a lot that is towards your lead side the last few classes. So that's where I'm stepping. That's where I'm stepping towards my lead foot, and then I'm pivoting to face somebody who's over towards my right. Um, the um, and I cut. This is the easier pivot to do. It's the more natural one. But for most of you, the other one is going to be sort of more important because I'm just teaching you guys to fight me right now because. Uh, you want to pivot, a lot of the time you want to be moving away from the person's power side. So if you're both in the same stance and you pivot, you know, like if I'm, I'm, a, I'm usually doing the southpaw, but if I'm right-handed and the person's, that's just, yeah, the person's right is over there, I'm right-handed, their right side is, is over here, their cross is here, I pivot there. It's okay because I'm kind of lined up with them in a bad way, but um, for them, but I'm still going, like if they threw a cross at me right then, I might be right where it's coming from. Or if they're throwing their power kick, I might pivot right into it. So, um, so I want to be aware of that. I might use it more, you know, when they're moving as well. So I don't think I'm going to run into their kick. Um, so, uh, but if you're going against the southpaw, then their power is over on this side. Their their left is over here. They're going to be mirroring me. So I want to be pivoting a lot towards my lead side. So if you're fighting someone in the same stance as you, which most right-handed people will be doing, you want to pivot the other way. The person's right, I'm doing it now as a, um, I'll pretend I'm, I'm mirroring you, but, um, but the person's right hand is over here, right? Just make sure I'm doing that right. Yes, because they're really left-handed. So their, their power side is over here. I don't want to pivot towards there. I want to pivot away. I want to pivot like their front foot's going to be at a diagonal from mine. I want to pivot outside their front foot. So the way I do that is, and it's a little more awkward, is I step across a little bit. There's, few, there's a few ways to do it, but the way we're going to do it is I'm going to step across a little bit and I'm going to swing that back. And one thing that helps is I can bring, it makes me safe, is I'm going to bring this shoulder forward a little bit. So I'm bringing my left shoulder forward a little bit and then pivoting. My hips aren't that as tucked as they should be because um, I'm looking at my screen, which is making me have bad posture. But, um, but you don't want to end up here. You want to end up, you can be crouched, but from here, not, not there, you know, when your posture is broken. So, um, so again, I'm going to step my left foot a little towards my left put my left shoulder forward, maybe to protect me, maybe I'm slipping a punch, and I'm pivoting my right foot around and facing them. So let's just do that together. So we'll do that pivot, we'll just do it as quarter turns. So, um, so uh, when I say go, you'll just step pivot. So again, you're stepping, you're closing your stance up a little bit, maybe slipping a punch, pivoting um, to face your left. So, um, so let's do one, pivot, quarter pivot, two, three, four. Should be back to the front. So come back to the front if you're not. And then again, one, two, three, four. Now, um, I want you to think about as you're pivoting like that, Think about, before we were talking about your, um, 
your right cross. When you pivot it back onto your right foot, that cross should be ready to go. When you pivot this way, your lead side hook should be ready to go. So you'll be thinking about your left hook. So I don't want you to throw it yet. I just want you to think about ready to throw, you know, think like you're ending up ready to throw a hook. So I'm going, I'm, I'm a little bending. You can bend your position a little more. Um, if you're gonna throw an uppercut, that's why I'm doing it. But I'm kind of coming around ready to throw that punch. If I was coming from here, I would be like, I'm ready to throw that. I'm, I'm putting weight onto my lead leg. So do one set of pivots where you're thinking about that, where as you land, the way Jamal describes it is as I land and I'm going, I go a little extra. And that's the wind up for the punch. I don't twist my legs extra, but I twist my body extra. I come around, I could just land here, but instead I land here and I go. So as I'm coming around, I give it a little extra wind up, which I can then recoil into my hook. So just let, don't do the um, actual punch yet. Let's just think, let's, let's do the punch. Let's um, step, we're just gonna do that one punch. You're gonna coil, let's just do the coil. Cause I think you should practice it. You're gonna short change it if you don't just think about the coil. So let's just do, we're just gonna, every time you pivot, coil. And then you get back position, pivot, coil. But we'll do the quarter turns. So, um, so first one, so one, coil, two, three, four, loading up that left leg, one more set, one, two, three, four, thanks. Now we're gonna do a set where we come back with the hook. So we're gonna pivot, hook. You can either throw a hook, an uppercut, a body shot, any of those punches. So I'm coming here, any of those um, I'm, I'm in position for. So um, my, I pivoted and my right shoulder is now forward, which sets up my left shoulder to come back around. So you're just gonna pivot, throw one punch, um, hook your left hook, left uppercut, left body shot. For those of you who are experienced with this, think about your right shoulder more than your left shoulder. So when I'm, when I'm about to throw this punch, my right shoulder's in front, my right shoulder's in back. That, that's what Jamal means when he says, get out of your way. It's pull that back to pull this, pull the lead back side, pull it, think about the side that you're not using, um, generating the force. All right, so it's just gonna be pivot, return a hook, or any left punch uh, besides the jab. So, um, so one, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. Cool, let's um, look at the time. Let's, let's put that into a, um, a couple, um, into the offensive and defensive combinations we've been using, you know, movements we've been using. And um, so let's do, first, we're backing up. So before we were backing up four steps, we're gonna back up three steps now. So I'm backing up right, left, right. Make sure that makes sense. I thought it would make sense, but I'm not sure now. a little less than, oh, I remember how we did it. I did it one, two. This is the tricky part, is that when I'm doing that third step back, I have to step my left leg across a little bit to do my pivot. So it looks like this. I'm backing up, I'm starting towards the right. One, two, three, pivot. So my third step, it's like a judo drill. One, two, and then, actually let's do it this way. Yeah, we'll do a one, two, three step pivot. I think that'll be a little smoother. So we're gonna go one, two, three, step, pivot. It's like a tap dance now. One, two, three, step, pivot. And now I'm facing them um, sideways. So, um, so instead of pivoting, before we were pivoting out this way, but now we're gonna be pivoting this way. But you need that little, um, that little step will help. One, two, three, step, pivot. Um, so, and then we're gonna finish with um, a hook or uh, you can have one, you have two choices. You can either finish with a hook. You have three choices. You can finish with a hook. Yeah, I want you to do one of these. You can finish, here's the choices. I'll give you all the choices. The choices are just finish with a hook if this is new to you. Um, 
finish with a hook cross hook. Hook cross hook. I when I say hook, the first one it can you can play around with the heights. It could be an uppercut too, um, or you can throw five punches. So if you're a more advanced kickboxer, I would encourage you after the first few at least to throw any five punches starting with that hook. So I'm pivoting. I'm pivoting. Bam bam bam. Three four five. You know, and um, so you're trying to get used to throwing a, a volley of punches. So I'd say for everyone, you know, don't start with five, start with one or one or three. And, but then, you know, at, like give yourself a number that you're gonna throw. Five is a number I recommend, especially if you're more advanced. So, um, so again, you're just walking back. One, two, three, step, pivot, hook. And then um, tell yourself a number of punches you wanna throw. You could just practice the hook. You could throw three punches, five punches. Okay, so get set. So this will be a full round, two minutes. Um, box timer. All right, go. And remember, keep going, but remember when you pivot, you're gonna wind up that punch by really bringing your right shoulder in front a little bit so that you can return your right shoulders in front, your left shoulder explodes back. So nine burpees, go. So let's do the um, offensive punches like this. Let's do, okay, good, it's not gonna ring. Let's do, uh, let's do, we're doing the other one as more advancing punches. Let's do jab, cross, hook. So it's gonna be jab, cross, but the hook is gonna actually, I'm gonna step forward, um, similar to if I'm setting up a sidekick with it. So I'm gonna, you know, I wanna step this foot out a little bit to help me pivot. I'm gonna use the, um, the hook as kind of a decoy. So I'm gonna go jab, cross, hook. This actually becomes like a hook, pivot, hook, which is a really common um, sequence of punches. So I'm coming forward, I'm going, and my legs are coming forward each time, but not crossing up, jab, cross. Now I'm gonna take the hook, but I'm gonna take my left leg and step it to the left, no, the right, and step it across my stance, hook, hook. 
So, um, so try just that much so far, jab, cross, hook, pivot, hook. And then if you want to add punches afterwards, go ahead. Um, but at least try a few, you know, just like that, and you can keep going, keep just doing that one return punch, you know, um, or you can throw, you know, add a sequence of counter punches. So I'm going jab, cross, hook, hook. I'm throwing the hook, I'm stepping across, and I'm using the hook to set up my pivot. Bam. Bam. I could throw an uppercut, I could return any of those. You can always, most cases, you can throw a hook, uppercut, body shot from the same position. So jab, cross, hook, pivot, hook. Karen, are we going in the same direction of yep, pivot? Same direction, pivot. So I'm doing it by, so before I was stepping my left foot across, now I'm gonna step my left foot across with the hook. One, two, hook, hook. I'm not pivot, when I do the hook, I'm not pivoting quite as far as I do on the other one, but you could. Yeah. Hook, pivot, hook. So yeah, I'm gonna to pivot towards my right side. I'm stepping my left foot across a little bit with the hook. That'll help me pivot. So it looks like Yeah, so jab, cross, hook, pivot, hook. Um, and then if you want to add, you know, five punches at the head or whatever you want to do in the counters, fine. So get set. So when you hook, you need to step your lead leg across on the first hook. Let's see, you step your lead leg across and then you swing your right leg out towards the right. Yeah, yes. I'll do it forward, so if anyone's having trouble with it, you can mirror me. Because I'm doing it and looking at the camera, it's making me not pivot as much as I could, so just if you see that, don't have to copy it. <laughs> Okay, so let's do, um, we're gonna do some kicking to end. Let's do, um, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, right, we didn't do our, we didn't do burpees. Do nine burpees. Bring out your nine burpees. This is the last one, the last burpees. Let's do Okay, here, here's, here is what we're going to do. We're going to end with a three minute round. You're going to shadow box. So um, if you're not sure, just throw a lot of jabs. You can throw some kicks. Should mostly be punching for this drill. So you're throwing, you're shadow boxing, you're punching, moving around. Um, I mean, there's gonna be two combinations. The first one is jab, cross, hook, 
rear roundhouse kick. Jab, cross, hook, kick. The second one is jab, cross, hook, front side kick. So jab, cross, hook. Now my left um, leg is pointing forward, kick. So, I, so if I say one, jab, cross, hook, kick. If I say two, jab, cross, hook, kick. So you're moving around, and then when I yell one, you do combination one, jab, cross, hook, roundhouse kick. If I say two, combination two, jab, cross, hook, side kick. It's one is jab, cross, hook, right roundhouse kick. Two is jab, cross, hook, left side kick. So get set. And go. So you're shadow boxing. You can pivot, use all the footwork you know, throw all the punches you want, throw an occasional you know, push kick if you want. One. One. Two. As soon as you throw it, come right back to shadow boxing. A good thing to do is throw a jab right after, just in case someone's coming at you. One. Two. Two. One. Lots of jabs. One. Two. Two. Okay, so let's, um, for, uh, for my birthday, I'm gonna, my birthday present to me is we're gonna do the segmented breathing as our meditation. So you could actually find a place where you could lie down. This is best if you can lie down on your face, if you know, face down, <laughs> not on your face, but face down, you could put something, you know, on your head to make a little breathing space or just do this on your knuckles. You can also do it lying face up. So I'm gonna do it lying face up so you can hear me but it works really well lying face down. So, um, so the first thing you're gonna do is lie and try to catch your breath. You know, take some deep breaths. And as you're taking these deep breaths, you have your legs, I guess you're, what you wanna, um, I'll do this part lying down this way. So you're gonna take these deep breaths and you're gonna think about filling up this spot. So like, that's why you do it in your belly. You know, we're thinking about breathing into our belly so often this allows you to think about breathing into your lower back. So even if you're lying on your back, thinking about kind of breathing into your lower back and also thinking about breathing into your pelvic floor. So you're trying to kind of expand all four directions in your lower abdomen. 
Um, and we tend to just think of belly. So also think of the sides, think of down, think of back. So take a few deep breaths. Um, the person who taught me this goes in through his nose and out through his mouth. I like to go out through my nose, so whichever you prefer, but in through your nose. Now keep breathing. So now you're going to try to breathe only through your right nostril and fill up the right side of your lungs, your right lung. You're going to be breathing through both nostrils, but be focusing on your right as the nostril you're trying to breathe and you're trying to fill up your right lung. Now the same thing with your left nostril and your left lung. Now switch back to your right nostril and try to fill up just the right upper half of your lung, just the upper part of your right lung. And then your right nostril and the right lower part of your lung. Now your left nostril and the upper left part of your lung. and then the left nostril and the lower part of your left lung.
And now one last thing, try doing four deep breaths where you go in a circle. So it doesn't matter what direction, but you start maybe your right upper, your right lower, your left lower, your left upper, but however you wanna do it, just try to get all four. And then just end with a few more deep breaths, like we were doing in the beginning. You're trying to breathe deep into your abdomen and your pelvis and trying to expand in all directions, including through your pelvic floor and through your lower back. All right, so you could shake yourself out a little bit, come to sing when you feel ready, and we're all done. Thanks for doing that with me. I really like it. I hope you like it. I feel very, very relaxed after I do that.